Greetings, Trinity family. Good to be with you, bringing you the uh, weekly news roundup for the weekend of October 22nd through 24th. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be hearing another installment from Luke chapter 18. It's the uh, Pharisee and the tax collector. Remember last week, we had the first verses of Luke 18, the parable of the persistent widow, uh, the point of which was that we should always pray and not lose heart. This weekend, with the Pharisee and the tax collector, it's not so much an encouragement to pray, but, uh, but how to pray, uh, humbly, uh, with the humility of the tax collector who bowed his head uh, and prayed, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Uh, so God bless us to hear those words and that they be a blessing to us this weekend. Read Luke 18 again in preparation for the weekend, uh, if you remember. We're going to be uh, returning to a sharing of the peace at the beginning of the service. Um, shaking hands, if you're comfortable with that. Otherwise, a smile, a verbal greeting, a wave, maybe. Um, respecting each other and sharing the peace that uh, the Lord himself alone can offer. Uh, that's the way we gather uh, in his name. So that'll be getting started. Eventually, we'll be returning to a sharing, uh, a passing of the offering plates uh, during worship. So uh, as soon as we have a, a schedule of ushers uh, able to do that, uh, gentlemen, this has traditionally been uh, your job here at Trinity. So when we reach out to you asking for your participation and willingness to be scheduled as an usher, uh, I'd ask you to consider that and please say yes when that opportunity comes your way. Uh, I'm obviously in the church on this uh, Thursday morning, and you can see what I am with. Yes, this weekend is Quilt Dedication Weekend. We give thanks for the uh, quilters and their ongoing ministry of making these beautiful quilts. And uh, this Sunday, we will pray uh, that God would bless uh, the quilts and, more importantly, the people who will eventually receive them, that it could be a, a blessing for them. So uh, uh, look for the quilts in worship this weekend. Uh, if you have a son or daughter or grandchild who is serving in the military or who is um, off at college somewhere, our Trinity Owls, our older, wiser Lutherans, would love to send a care package their way. So if you got somebody in that category, I encourage you to give their name and address uh, to the church office. Um, more information on how to do that in the bulletin announcements for this weekend. But uh, they'd love to uh, uh, care for those uh, kids as long as you let us know who and where they are. So that's one opportunity. Um, we're reaching a deadline this weekend for you to be able to order holiday pies from Maryland's Bakery. Uh, so orders are due this weekend and you can get fruit pies, which uh, can be frozen, save for holidays or other occasions, as well as pumpkin pie, which I think pumpkin is a fruit. Not sure about that, but uh, pumpkin pies and French silk um, I figure uh, once I get my order of pies, uh, I'll use a future installment of the uh, video greetings to offer, uh, offer a food review uh, when that comes along, and I'm sure it'll be a positive one. But uh, those orders are due this weekend. Uh, pie pickup is Thursday, November 3rd in the afternoon. Make other arrangements uh, if needed. So that's coming up. Speaking of food, it's cheese ball time. Those orders aren't due until the 31st, but uh, you can place the order now. And yes, there will be a review of the cheese balls. I've heard uh, a lot about them. Looking forward to that uh, opportunity as well. Speaking of food, the sociables are uh, going to be going to Northwoods Falls. Uh, let's see, that's Thursday the 27th. So if you're interested in participating in that, give the Guskies a call. Uh, once again, uh, info for uh, those contacts are in your bulletin this weekend. We're still looking for lower grade teacher aid for the school, as well as an extended care aid and maybe a uh, substitute cafeteria worker. Different amounts of time, five hours a week, 10 hours a week, uh, up to 30 hours a week for the teacher aid. If that um, fits you and uh, something you might be interested in or you know somebody who might be interested in that, encourage you to give the school office a call for a conversation. And um, if you don't know anybody or that doesn't fit you, appreciate your prayers for that search. That is a, a real need that uh, the school has and uh, appreciate your prayers for that. Uh, really, that's all the announcements that I have to highlight for you this weekend. Um, God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. And uh, we'll see you in church this weekend.